Okay, welcome to the press conference. The manager will take the questions first on the game. We'll start with Simon Peach. Hi, Ollie. Hey. Uh, it was a difficult day for us. Uh, of course, we wanted to play. We wanted to uh, beat Liverpool, for the fans even, because uh, our job has to be on getting good performances, good results uh, on the pitch. That's the players' focus, that's my focus. And uh, But as I've said, uh, as I said before the game, uh, we have to listen. We have to uh, hear the fans' voice. It has to be in a... It's everyone's right to uh, to protest. It has to be in a civilized manner, though. It has to be in a peaceful manner. And unfortunately, when it's when you break in, when you when police officers get uh, injured, scarred for life, that's too too far. That's one step too far. And unfortunately, that is um, now uh, when it gets out of hand like this, it's a police matter. It, it's not. Uh, it's not about uh, sh showing your um, opinions anymore. Per Carlson. Yes, hello there. Hey. Uh, as a manager, do you hope that the owners will communicate with the fans, both to ease uh, some of the tension, but also to give you uh, and your players an opportunity to focus on the important games ahead without having to think about games being cancelled and uh, of course, it's my job, my focus has to be on the results, but you don't really need to be a rocket scientist to see that we have challenges and frictions and things that have to be dealt with, uh, with the communication. Uh, other individuals than, than me, of course, uh, have started already uh, with discussing with the fans, um, uh, communicating with, uh, with fan groups, which is going to be massive for us going forward. Uh, I think uh, the players have done terrific to be where they are. Uh, I would be sad to if if the players got um, their season uh, or the, all the good work they've done uh, disrupted. So our focus is on playing well and getting to a to a final now. James Sabundra. Well, a little bit what I've, I've said here as well. Of course, we of course we want to listen. Uh, it has to be in a peaceful manner. It's important. Please um, voice your opinions. We know, as I've said, uh, as a club, we need to communicate better. Uh, and as I said, that's uh, I can refer back to to the apologies. Uh, they've all accepted. Uh, it's it came out wrong, and it was the wrong thing to do which is a start. Uh, let's continue on that. My work is to... I know that our fans would want a team that is likeable, that is playing attacking football, that is scoring goals, winning trophies, uh, being humble, work hard towards getting better results so they can identify with them. We want to be a Man United team. And I, uh, I know that um, for our fans, results are important. My, my job... And my responsibility uh, are the results. And we want to get back to winning trophies. We haven't won for a while. Uh, and that's, it's, of course, something we're working on. And that's my, as I said, that's my responsibility. But I'm sure our fans can see that what the players are doing. Carl Anker. Good afternoon, Ollie. Uh, if I could uh, talk a little bit about Manchester United on the pitch. I've thank you. You know, we've got great staff, fantastic uh, uh, fitness staff. They are, uh, you've got to work on, we've, it's, been, it's been a process since I came in. 
since I came in, uh, we uh, we brought uh, some young staff in. Charlie, young Charlie, has been tremendous. We're working on robustness, resilience, being able to play 50 games for Man United. A, a winning Man United team has players who can play 45, 50, 50 plus games at a high, high standard. So, uh, and that's lifestyle. That is what we do in training, having good habits, um, recovering well. When you don't play, periodize it really well. So you know that, okay, you're gonna play in 10 days. It, it needs planning. Um, you need to, okay, you're playing in seven days. You, you can train hard now, if you might be a sub. When you're a sub, I know how difficult it is to, to get the complete match fitness by not playing full games. When you play games, it's, you get into rhythm and of course then you, all you all you hope for is not getting injuries sorry say so yeah you want you want Colin. yes carl just to follow up go on carl Yeah, it's changed the whole uh, cycle. Yes, of course it has done because uh, we had a game uh, Thursday prepared for Sunday again. So we couldn't, Sunday would have been a perfect day to, to, uh, to test them again physically. But it was a day off. It was more of a mental challenge. Then Monday was a harder day in training. Uh, so it changes the whole thing, the whole plan. But you've got to be adaptable. In this, the world that we are in now, you can't uh, just uh, think that it's going to be, uh, you're going to get the fixture list in August and it's not going to change. So, um, and the boys have been terrific at that and uh, adapting to different challenges. Um, but let's, let's get through to, um, to questions about uh, the game instead. Jamie Jackson. Hi, Oli. Hiya. You know, I've I've been communicating with uh, with the owners. I've got an apology uh, personally. Uh, they've uh, apologized to to the fans how this came out. I can't. Uh, I know that the f there has started uh, communication between other individuals than me uh, and the fans. And it, as I said, it is a difficult position to be in for me. This because I I've got to fo focus on the football, and it's. Uh, I've always had a good relationship and they listen to me and um, they listen to the they do listen to the fans and uh, I'm sure there'll be uh, there'll be better communication coming. Frederick Philbets. Yeah. It's uh, going into the game, wanting to win the game, play a good game of football, approach it as it's um, as we were, as a team. We need to develop. We need to improve. We know we're not at the standard yet where we can go into a game thinking we can play f uh, uh, on the result. We're not going to play on the result. We're going to play to win that game, and that's uh, the only only way I, I I think we should approach these uh, these games um, to develop to test ourselves challenge ourselves of course there, there might be one or two changes in the selection because of the games coming up as well but um, we have to get into a final uh, everyone says it's done it's not because I've seen bigger upsets than this and uh, Roma has been part of big upsets they beat Barcelona not, not long ago after being 4-1 down Simon Stone. Hi Oli, um, you've mentioned uh, you want to talk about the game and that's understandable, you talk to us sometimes four times a week in various guises, how disappointing is it that you're on the verge of reaching a final as a Manchester United manager for the first time after so many disappointments and because of factors outside your control the entire debate is around the ownership of Manchester United and their communication and what they're doing 
Well, of course, as, as I've said here, my, my focus has to, I have to have laser focus on football, on the football, but also uh, understand uh, there are views and challenges ahead uh, outside the football pitch. But f my focus has to be on, on what's going to happen in the next three weeks on the pitch. And then uh, let's see. Uh, but I, as I said, the, 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 the right to protest peacefully. The, everyone's got a human right to be heard and the voice to be heard. And, but it has to be peacefully. You know, when you step out of line, when you uh, break in to, on the pitch, break into dressing rooms, uh, I think that's one step too far. And then when it becomes police matters, it's, it's not really, that's not nice. And it's not been helped by certain individuals. And I have to say that that's that's another part of it, but that's uh, that's your your end of it. Not you, not you, Simon, but uh, that's your end of it. I mean, how? Oh, thanks. Uh, you know, we spoke before the Liverpool game. That was going to be its hundred game, and we said let's let's score a winner. For example, that's uh, you know that's what he does. He scores goals. Uh, he's really added the link up play. He is so clever. He's so clean on his build up play. Uh, he's giving assists. Decision making is one thing. Uh, of course. If, if he's going to be a wide right, if he's going to be a centre forward, it's the filling out, getting used to having players uh, in your back facing facing the wrong way. But if because if you want to be a number nine, you you're going to get hurt. It's going to uh, you've got to stick your head in, uh, break your nose once in a while. And um, he's a pretty boy, and I'm not sure if he if he wants to do that. So, uh, but that's that's a challenge for him. So we we've got loads of work, and and keep just keep doing what he does. He's only 19. And he's doing the right things in, on the training grounds. So I'm very, very happy with him. Can I just check before we go any further? Are there any Italian journalists that would like to ask a question? Would you like to raise your virtual hand? We can come to you. No? Doesn't look like there is any? Okay. Okay. Um, last two questions. And in Italian? I'm Italian. <laughs> you can speak Italian as well, can you? I wish. As good as you can. <laughs> We've had some good conversations, some good uh, chats lately, and uh, even though the uh, decision is still in his uh, in on his in his court, I'm still hopeful, and m maybe more so. You know, when you when you see him on Thursday against Rome, and then after that game, talking to him about wh when you do that in front of the Stratford End, full Stratford End, that's a different, that's different, that's magic, and. Uh, uh, I'm still hopeful, yeah. Well, the last question for James Cooper. Hi, hi. Hi, yeah. I, I know you're positive, I know you're constructive, that's the way you go about things. So, so looking ahead, if you want to have a United football club, that's what it's all about. Does this situation, can it be fixed, can it be amended, and how does it go about that? Because it has to be amended if you want this to be a, a United football club, doesn't it? Of course, it has to be a United football And... Uh, to make things grow, uh, you need to uh, give them, give it some patience as well. Uh, and of course, I'm ho hopeful that in time uh, we we can unite and come together. Because uh, frictions and challenges sometimes that's good. Sometimes uh, it can move things forward. And uh, the last few weeks uh, have been difficult. Of course, don't have to be a rocket scientist to to see that. And. Uh, uh, we, I've had backing. I've, I've got to say, uh, they've, they've, uh, I've been put in charge, and I'm responsible for the results. I'm responsible for the football matters, and I understand fans want to see results and trophies. We're hoping that they can see this team is going places, is moving forward, and that can uh, can see that the process we're in, and um, 
hopefully uh, we can get to a final tomorrow. That's that's the the short term uh, short term fix is to get to a final, and then we'll we'll have to take it from there again. Thank you very much, everyone. If you want to just stay on the call, then Bruno Fernandez will come now for you.